screen share. There we go. And well, once I know where we're at, oops. Um, last time we finished, last time we finished here, I believe, with Ich uh, Erok An. Um, How did you translate that? I forget what you said. You said something funny. Well, that's that's tricky. So Ich is what, right? And An is again. And Erok literally is to you. So what is it to you again? Um, and what do we want to make out of that? On Ramses, they translated, hang on, something like, uh, yeah, yeah. like, like, what's up with you? What's missing? What uh, What's wrong with you, basically? Oh. Then Ellie translates it as, um, hang on. Give me a moment. Simpson translated as, uh, what more do you want? What more do yeah. you want? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's, what is for you now? What is, what is there still for you? Kind of. What's it, left for you? What? It what could be. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so, um, slim. The phrase itself is so, it's so skinny. You kind of have to stick meaning into it. Yeah. Right. What? What to you still, or again, or left, or whatever, however you want to translate on. Um. Right, right, right. I looked at at um, at Germany to basically see what uh, what the different meanings of R are. So R can be, of course, towards you, like uh, directionally. It can okay. also be about, like for example, memo mm -hmm. about the three pieces of wood that I don't know I still owe you. Oh, okay. That mm -hmm. would also be error. Um, so what is it about you again? Something like that. Mm, interesting. Take it well for, I mean, I can't find it right now, but I think he translated, if I remember correctly, what do you want again? Is, um, is how Ellie translated it. I tried to find it in, um, in Ramses to see if there are like any other examples. And there is one in Renamun, actually. Um, oh, wow. Uh, hang on, where am I? Moon 265, I think. Sorry. You're great. You're great. Go again. 55. Sorry about that. Just uh, rearranging oh. something. Here we go. Um, Jetni ich erok. So same thing. Jetni ich erok. Um, and here translate here he translated as ke cosa hai. What thing do you have? I mean, again, basically like. So yeah, that's as much as I have. Um, maybe let's take a look at it in context because it's going to come up again in a moment. Um, the moment he is gets there, to, uh, to Ray, basically. Is there any relation between the X and like a question word and topic? Uh, yes, Ash. Ash. Ash Pepai, what is this? Um, is, uh, is the exact same word. Actually, all words in this line are, I mean, Iraq, I'm pronouncing it in Coptic, and this here is Coptic on again. So mm -hmm. if you want to make it like fake Coptic, it would be Ash Iraq on. What about you again? What is it about you? That's all we have. Um, so if you were to translate it as have, like in that other example, mm -hmm. it's almost like he's saying you, what's the, what's preceding this? You, you judged yourself. You basically don't, you've judged yourself with your own right. words. I think it's basically what he's saying. So what do you have now? Like, right. What other argument do you have now? Right, right, right. What else do you have now, basically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think that's the best. That's the best way how to interpret that line. Yes. Okay, doc. Um, mm -hmm. quick question back a few lines. I apologize if you've already kind of talked about this. And uh, so, ISIS was weeping. And now Seth is going to start weeping, I think, even within this line. 
Oh, uh, or is it weeping? <laughs> or is it? Yeah. So where did we land on that? I went down a rabbit hole on that one. A really good one. You want to explain? Like yeah. It. So uh, everyone seems to have interpreted this as an error and that it shouldn't be a ch but a ra, and that's the word okay. weep. But he writes it three times in a row and he's clearly writing ch. And Aurelio found an example later in this text where he does write weep and it's clearly a different word. So oh. there is a word, apparently, chem. I looked it up in TLA, um, that means to be ashamed. So I think this is saying, be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, 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 that makes total sense. It makes total sense, and I love it. And the, the like Evan said, the cool thing is, later there is a point where it is weeping. Um, in another text also, where, where clearly weeping, only weeping can be meant from, from context, um, because there's nothing to be ashamed about. And in that context, it's, it's written with a, a double R. So then it looks like... Um, Basically, R, R, I think M, U, M, U, and then the, the complicated I. But note, it's not like here where it's clearly a chip. I mean, he right. puts the little, little mark. And he yeah. writes it three times in a row in this text. It's going to come up like in one of the next lines. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it is again. So it can't be a mistake. It has to be intentional. So I think Aaron is yeah. one on. It's a different word. And so basically Isis, after she's told him a story that's a, a thinly disguised version of what he's trying to do, namely take the office away from her son. Um, when he says, well, you absolutely have to do something about that. You you can't just give the office, or in this case, the, the animals to a stranger. Um, she basically says, be ashamed of yourself. Your own mouth has judged you, basically. Um, so what about you now, essentially? Or what, yeah. what else do you have to say? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, cool. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Yeah, uh, hey, like Christian said at the beginning, we may be finding something new and uh, as we go through this, and this could be a good example of finding something new. Yeah. Another thing I want to share real quick, just because it's cute, um, trying to find examples of, of Icherok. I didn't find any other than our text, but I found this. Um, I found uh, took me ich. Um, how are you? One way how to basically, yeah, how to to ask somebody. That's cool. Huh. Which is kind of cute. Just want to share that because it's yeah, no, that that's an important. I mean, that's one of the first things you'd learn in any language, right? Is how you doing? Right. So now you know. Here's yeah. the female version. Took me, uh, took me ich. Um, and in this case, repeat it. I wonder how to actually read that that seps now. If you if you read this really like tut me ich seps now, or if it says tut me ich tut me ich, you know what I mean? Like yeah, in the text you often have like er iker and then seps now. And okay. I'm wondering, did they just not read it out like er iker er iker or er iker iker or something like this? Um, hmm. Like we would do in English, like really really good. You wouldn't say really two times good. That sounds like like yeah. English. Like 1984, um, that would like to. <laughs> so uh, I... it makes me makes me think of the Book of the Dead too. So in in there, they've got lots and lots of formulas where it says like a million times effective or something like that. So mm -hmm. it makes me wonder if it's like obviously they wouldn't chant it a million times or however they <laughs> interacted with it. But anyway, yeah, it's it's really yeah, it's a good question. It's it's a i mean it's just something that i've been wondering about because primarily in chinese and in japanese you have like when you don't want to write a character twice um mm -hmm. you have like a little mark that you put to basically indicate this is to be read twice like for example for mukashi mukashi exactly mukashi mukashi yeah that's right exactly ware ware or something if you don't want to write the same character twice you just add this or something similar they have another one for like a whole phrase i think um, can't remember how that one goes. It's like a really long line. Um, yeah, and I'm wondering, is that what that is? I don't know. But why would you be doing that at the end of the question, how are you? That is I weird. can understand emphasizing the answer, but emphasizing the question seems odd. That that surprised me too. When I saw that here, it's like, why would you say, how are you? How are you? Like, But how are you? <laughs> it's like very <laughs> solicitous. <laughs> It could be, it could be. <laughs> That's awesome. 
I mean, Janice always go like, welcome, welcome, come in, come in, right? You, you have to double it, otherwise it doesn't sound friendly enough. So I'm wondering if it's something like this, but no idea. Hey, and while we're in the universal territory of, um, of bunny rides, I have one more for you. This is a so-called, this is Middle Egyptian now, it's a so-called letter to oh, the... Oh, neat. Um, wait, here's how it really looks like. It's at the back so, of... Wow. Like a letter to who? To the dead. Oh, cool. I see family that. members writing to a deceased person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. What's really... Can you share this with us? This looks awesome. Absolutely, yeah. I can put in the, the, the link later, uh, in, the, in the chat later. But the thing is... That's why I thought of it, the way it starts. It actually literally starts with, um, over here, et mich, um, how are you? Which is kind of kind of touching. A message from, oh, yeah. so first question is like, how are you? Is the West, like, is the West working out for you, basically? That's awesome. Yeah, I love kinda it. Cute. That's really, really cool. So let me share that one later, um, if you guys want to have a look. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great. So uh, I don't know if you guys have done the Hawk course, but at the end of the Hawk course, you translate the Harper's song um, mm -hmm. from Intef. And I was just reading a, an article uh, about kind of attitudes, at least during the whatever time they suspected that was written towards the afterlife. And, you know, because they say in specifically in that composition, we don't really know what it's like. So enjoy your life. You know, that's the kind of whole moral of the, the Harper song is seize the day and, you know, live your life to the fullest. And anyway, so mm -hmm. I, I think that that uh, sentiment is really interesting, especially given all the other stuff that the Egyptians had in terms of uh, religious feeling, right, towards things like the Book of the Dead and burial and everything like that. So, yeah, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had made a bi no not a bilingual but um like like a version like this right with uh hieratic and and yeah mm -hmm. really neat uh, for some reason i only discovered it weeks later oh yeah yeah no worries. That's cool. at some point i'd like to put it on github too and same do the same thing with the uh, doom prints but yeah that may that may take a while i have to learn github first following aaron's great example so yeah very cool. All right, guys, should we get started? Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Who wants the first one? I'm trying to get this bar out of the window. Okay, here we go. I think we are here. I mean, I can attempt it. You can see how far I've gotten in my, in my homework. Haven't really made it through the line in terms of translation, but... Um, just starting from the sentence with aha nf so then he i think that began ah uh, so that uh, aha t uh how did i how did i parse that with wheat last time it was um, Oh, e rem, yeah, that makes sense because it's it's like Coptic. Te 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 mu, mm -hmm. uh, and then u f, uh, sham, or sham, or pa, uh, nt, pa, hor. Which I'm assuming is the let's see, hor octi, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so I would I would gather from that. Then Seth started weeping. Uh, I've forgotten what shem shemt meant, but uh, I think it's just to go. Yeah. Okay. It's to go she in, she in in Coptic. It loses uh, the end to go to and then pa nt uh, to let's see 
this, and I'm assuming pa with the uh, determinative for the sun is the day. Let's see, is that like a, yeah, I really, let's see. How do we translate it over here? This is actually just a really long name. Pare Harakti. Oh, Pare Harakti. Yeah. Yeah. Pare Harakti. Yeah. The and famous so became horizontal horse. And the horse. went to where uh, Harakti was. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. That's right. Let's take a cool look, quick look at the, the details. So, so he stood. He stood. Oh, well, stood is, it, yeah. is it weeping or is it? I mean, based on what we found out, it was just being ashamed, I guess. Uh, yeah. But, oh, and I see somebody already corrected that, sure. Oh, because, no, because that was you, Aaron, right? I guess. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's already um, corrected up here, too. Nice. Well, you know, Gardner has it written as a cha, even in his text, but he marks it as a mistake. Ah, so he's faithful cool. to what the scribe says, but anything he disagrees with, he marks. Well, that's nice. Okay, so he doesn't doesn't autocorrect it. Cool. Maybe. So he stood ashamed. Uh, you have shame. Well, he he went to uh, Pa and T. So remind me is that this towards this. Yeah, I kind of want to talk about this too. It's interesting. This Pa Pa Neti Im. That which is there, kind of okay. literally, okay. but that is good. So yeah, it's a relative sentence. I mean, Peter, you you did right. The the place where Reharakti is at. Um, so it's really in Coptic, I would be pet. Uh, pa empty becomes pet. Um, okay. And, and then you would say imos uh, in it. Um, in late Egyptian, you can still leave out the s. You can okay. just make it in. Um, mm. So the place where they, where somebody somebody was in, essentially, it's a, a whole. Uh, if you just wanted to say he went to Recharachti, it would be Ev Sheme Er Pari But uh, they make it a bit more specific, the place where Recharachti was at. Oh, yeah. Okay. At least that's how I take it. Yeah, I, that's good. That's good. So yeah, here's a little end. Um, this part, F, so he was, he stood ashamed and went to the place where Eharachti was at. And then maybe a little piece more, F, Chem. F, okay, where he was at, he was ashamed, but, potentially. So it's a little bit doubling, huh? We said it already here and then we, we say it one more time, while he was ashamed, being ashamed. Yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, I like so much better than, than weeping. I mean, weeping when I when I first read it, I read it as weeping, and I thought it's just too comical. It's like <laughs> the boy running to uh, to his dad, basically. Like, and it sort of fits to the next line to read it that comically, but I, I thought it was a bit over the top. So I'm kind of relieved it's actually ashamed and not crying because yeah, yeah, almost too irreverent. Um, cool. Should we take yeah. quick look at the hieratic on this sentence? Yeah, it seems like I had a question a few lines back about some character. Let's see. Uh, nope, not finding it. Oh, yeah, the Octi sign in Hor Arakti. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that was the horizon. I guess is that the normal glyph for the horizon? Um, mm -hmm. Is it? Okay. Because it's like, it's a ray. Uh -huh. The ray has, and, and this and this time has like that middle middle stroke, which it doesn't have here, but it's like uh -huh. left, right? And then just um, the valley underneath. Oops, I didn't do that right, but you can imagine. Yeah. Um, but that's really it. It could be that the sun is smaller or bigger, but Overall, I think that's that's pretty much what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Anything about it that looks odd? 
uh, I just didn't put it together. I think just at sight, comparing it to the other Ray that we had just in horror's name. Um, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, um, let's see, the Ray part, just a few, yeah, syllables back, I guess. Right. Just right where you got it. So yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the full form where you have like left, right, and then the stroke in the middle. Um, uh -huh. Often it's more like even more like a downward stroke, or it can look like I don't know what that looks like, but a bit flat, and then like this. On the next line down, there's an example of it looking more like that. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's. I think that starts. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of Peyton's dynasty texts. Um, it's nicely recognizable compared to to other circular shapes. Um, well, awesome. Okay. So let's see. Going back to the beginning, anything special? Um, this is all fairly fairly standard stuff. Oh, I did want to ask about the hair ek at the beginning of the line. Um, can hair normally have um, a suffix attached to it? Is that just something that I've not paid attention to? <laughs> you mean this year? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot. Uh, I mean, as a preposition, that's normal. Um, like, hmm. I wonder how you pronounce that in Coptic. Um, haroi, harok, harof. Like, um, Upon me, upon you, upon him. Um, okay, okay. That's, that's that's the difference there. When you have it as a noun in Coptic, it becomes he. And when you have it as a preposition, it becomes haro. And so that's like like many prepositions, that's perfectly normal to okay. put a suffix pronoun afterwards. So that's, yeah, that's expected. Okay, thank you. Anytime. Oh. Um, can we go back one more line too on 614? Sure. So the jez ek is an adverb. And I took that to mean yourself, myself. This one, yeah. Himself. Yeah. That what you guys were getting as well. Yes. Um that's a very it's also in there in Middle Egyptian. Jez plus uh -huh. some kind of suffix pronoun like. Jesse, for example, myself, or Jesek, yourself, or mm -hmm. Jesses, herself. That is, um, is uh, yeah, standard Middle Egyptian as well. Okay. I think it dies out. In, in Coptic, there is nothing, I think, that survives from this thing, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. But apparently, it's still alive and kicking in late Egyptian. Cool. Okay. Beautiful copa, by the way. Yeah. And I'm impressed by all the the basket link uh, on all the words. It seems yeah, like it's such a fun, oh, fun yeah. thing to write. Yeah. I yeah like back in our ashamed word. Yeah, just the length of it. Mm -hmm. And then it seems like they really like writing that. Yes. Long Ks and long Fs. Because mm -hmm. you can. <laughs> and also the, the vertical stroke, the the... the I'm. I don't feel like writing this complicated science stroke, or I, I need something to right. balance my word stroke. You yeah. can make that as long as you want to as well. It's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. And I'm also not quite sure what's going on here. For some reason, that leg goes way up on Shame. Um. You can see that here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was another nice leg. Nice little flourish. Oh, mm -hmm. the uh, the leg for on, so more in the line that we just read, as, re, ek, on, uh, was a little bit unfamiliar to me. This one here, huh? Uh, yeah. It's the first time we see it, the backwards leg. Yeah. It's like a lunge almost, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> really long lunge. I don't know. Uh, Egyptian yoga, I'm telling you. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, is that is that pretty normal then in terms of how that can be written? Here's another one, same thing. Um, yeah, 
at least he does it very consistently and i think that's how you normally write it too um okay. so yeah no that's that's interesting it's the first time we have it in this text um, we only had the forward legs so far which look pretty different um so mm -hmm. to your point it, it's not as simple as just taking this sign and somehow trying to invert it um right. it comes differently that's a good point yeah anything else um mt maybe to call that out real quick minimalist oh, yeah. smudge cliff and um and walking legs uh nt it's not really a, um a ligature but a, on its way there uh -huh. here it is really it's starting to be ligature together you can see that which is nice Karachti, double horrors on a stick um Ime, and then f g -me, basically okay we got through the sentence great cool thank you for letting me try that oh cool all right next one or two yeah, sure. Wenin pere harakti hajedanef ich an. So then pere uh, harakti said to him, What do you got now? <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> Which is kind of like, you know, he's he's just coming from there and he, he got an earful and he's completely dejected. And then that's the first thing that he is. I think it's so comical. Um, yeah. It's like <laughs> Seth can't get a break in this this story. Yeah, she said it the first time. Now Preharakti is saying it. Yeah, it's great. Should That's I right. continue? Yes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. absolutely. Um when in Sutech her Jed and F uh Taremech um oh this is bin Taremech bin um Iati um, so uh, then Seth said to him, uh, the bad uh, woman, person, the bad woman came. Yeah, and it has to be on probably, but let's find out. Um, oops. Sorry, I don't have it ready, but there we go. Any further? Yes. Nah. Finally. So the bad woman, yep. Do we not have the next line in our text? No, we don't. We don't? I thought I thought Ralph did it. Oh, I'm line sorry. Line three, did he not? He might not have gotten it to it. Oh, he did. Okay. <laughs> I thought we had reached the end of the... the okay, all I think right. this is the end. Uh, okay, the bad woman came uh, to me mm -hmm. um, on again. Um, iris, irisa, uh, uh, oh, this is a weird one. The bega, begai. Um, so the bad woman came to me again um and she made uh, uh big guy she made i'm not sure about this word wasn't it shouting let me see um the guy i looked it up and it was like lazy oh that's weird Let's take a look at that. Um, Ramja says it as uh, Cree, so basically. Yeah, I think, where did I look? I think I looked in Lesko. Let's take a look. Maybe there's two of them. It's like... something weird that I couldn't quite figure out. I remember that lazy thing from somewhere. Um, let's see what's up with that. 
I, don't I think, think he's trying anything. to say like she made me like she confused me basically <laughs> I think is the gist of what he's getting at uh, okay okay like she made me she tricked me but mm -hmm. this baga mm -hmm. is a little bit of a weird word interesting let's see what Lesko offers and it has that odd spelling with a BP mm -hmm. which I mean there's yeah. this thing Mm. A mach? A mach is a P, right? Um, oh, no, I was just saying that, yeah, a lot of words have that weird spelling. Right. And that, there's like, this theory that. That, that the pa. Um, like, hang on, where is it? I mean, it's not a straight B, but it's a B and a P joined together. And several oh. other words have that too. There is and a theory that. Group the rating in general is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go again. Group rating in general is just for foreign words. Is that right? Well, you mean if it's like some kind of syllabic writing? Could? Well, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm just wanting to um, restate. I think that weird group writing spelling, at least as I've understood it, is mainly for foreign terms. But again, I've only read like a page on it, so <laughs> I could be mischaracterizing it. Yeah. No, that could be. It's an interesting point because they often use this kind of group writing when they don't have an established um, established spelling for the word, either because um, either because it's a new word, basically a loan word, or because it is a word that uh, has maybe changed pronunciation so much they didn't recognize it, and then they suddenly start spelling it um, in group writing. That does happen. And um, it's a little bit like sometimes in Japanese, you can write things in katakana, even though they're not a foreign word, either for emphasis or just because, yeah, just because, I guess. Um, cool. It's done. Okay. And now I can't find it, which doesn't help. It starts with B, right? BP? Yeah, BG. BP. It's BG. Oh, it's under BG? Mm -hmm. BGA. Big, uh... That explains why I can't find it. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, guys, not being very efficient today. You're great. Thanks for driving. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, I said thanks for driving. I know it's <laughs> it's uh, never easy to find stuff when everybody's looking at you and uh, you need it. So. <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit. You're right. <laughs> no pressure. If only this thing was searchable, like electronically searchable, I would pay money for that, but it doesn't exist. Isn't it searchable? Hey, Mustafa, you're there. I don't think Hi. Hi. Ah, cool. bingo. Like journey is okay. Here we go. Here's your big ass uh, to be lazy to be. Oh, and that doesn't make any sense, right? To be lazy, oh. slack, indolent, weary, tired, remiss, cuddle, shipwrecked. Um, right. <laughs> none of this fits. <laughs> but look at this one. Shouting, crying. Oh, shout. But our word has the bin bird in it. Um. True. True. Yeah. Has the, the little pa bird in it, you mean, or? No, the bin bird at the end, the determinative. Oh, the bad bird at the, oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. G37, yeah. Okay, so you're saying it looks more like this, basically, than this. Um, yeah. Yep. yep. How to argue with it. And also, she didn't shout at him. She didn't come to him shouting. She came to him as a sexy young girl. True. She only yelled at him after after he basically incriminated himself. Right. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was very clever. Nothing, but, hmm. nothing about what she did was lazy. Yeah, she was very clever. Although she, I guess she yelled at him at the end, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Huh. So. Ramses thinks shout. Cry. Shout, but let's try to work with what we have. Um, you were saying she... Uh, so the bad woman came to me again, and she made I mean, cry makes more sense in forming a sentence, but it doesn't make sense to me. 
what's the rest of it? Im, e, uh, an, um, uh, there, there, I don't know how to translate this, there to me again. I'm assuming this, this G7 is the first person pronoun. Yes, I think so. That should be a moi. So to me. Mm -hmm. So, did so then she came to, and sh I mean, shouted at me again, makes sense, but I don't know. Oh, and then doesn't it say, uh, and then she made herself, oh, let's yeah. see. She changed and made her, her form like a beautiful young. Yeah, uh, yeah. So then shout doesn't make sense to me. No, because that happens later. So, so that that's why I was thinking that this like lazy, weary, I think he's trying to say she like messed with my mind. Right. right? She made me, she put me in a stupor, basically. Yeah. And she yeah, came okay. to me as a beautiful young woman. I think um, that makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. So she turned herself into a shitty neferet. Yeah. A beautiful girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? So the question is cry or what was the alternative? Something to like kind of stupefy. Yeah. I like stupefy. Mm -hmm. I mean, from a logical progression, at first I thought it means she yelled at me again, basically, but mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure that would really be Imoy at me. That sounds weird. Um, and the other part is it doesn't fit from the sequence. So I'm, I'm also liking the, the other option. Also, the spelling is exactly like like the other word for weary, indolent. The only problem is the meaning, right? Like, yeah, yeah, confused me. The what does Ellie say? Is that is that the Italian author's last name? Um, how does he translate it compared to Ramsey? Oh, Ellie. Yeah. Let's have a look. Good point. And also that other translation. What is it, Simpson? Um, Oh yeah, yeah. You guys have that one handy. We can collect a bit. We can collect different opinions on this one. No, a shame. Then Sorry, I didn't realize that you. Um, Simpson translates it as that. Wolf, that wicked woman came back to me. She has tricked me again. She has tricked me again, and that would make way more sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. She has tricked she me, again, me again, having transformed herself. Yeah. The other one sounds comical, but she yelled at me again. Is kind of. <laughs> That bad woman came and, came and yelled at me again. <laughs> it's nine years old now. <laughs> right, right. Which fit well when I was still reading the previous line as as uh, he was crying three times. But now that we've put that aside, I think yeah. she me again makes way more sense. I do too. I, I kind of get the connection between tricking someone and making them late, like making your brain lazy, sort of. Uh -huh. Like she made me right. like entranced. I don't know. I, yeah. I, I see. No, makes sense. Hang on. Yeah. You should have Ellie in a moment. 7.3, isn't it? I just realized I can use the the red line numbers instead of just clicking around. <laughs> so that would be 7.2. Here we go. 7. Well, that's 12. Oh, uh, quick question, yes, sir. Aaron. You mentioned you mentioned the uh, thesaurus, uh, Egyptian thesaurus linguae or something like that. At least that's yeah. how I interpreted the. Uh, I'd love a tutorial on how to use it because I've tried to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so challenged when it comes to technology. It seems like uh, you know, really, you you've got better gun. Uh, Google food than I do, and uh, Aaron, you know how to anywhere. So, uh, what I know how to do is just throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. <laughs> I'm not the person to give a TLA tutorial. I just went to the page, and in the Lamata search, I just put Shem, and okay. it and gave me that. And I also 
um, was able to translate the page because I was on my iPad and it'll translate a page for you because it was all in German. Oh, so I just oh I just trans hit English and it changed it to English. Okay. Cool. Let's give it a shot. So I've arrived at the Italian part. E set gli disse quella donna cattiva è venuta ancora da me e mi ha imbrogliato nuovamente. So she basically, that evil woman has come to me and has messed me up again. Um, <laughs> nice, I love it. That's, that's the good, one. <laughs> that's a good translation, yeah. That'd be the best I can come up with. It says at the bottom, um, I can't write like this way with, um, in the Wörterbuch, in the dictionary. Um, uh, buggy mood design to be tired or to be yeah to be lax um, doesn't make any sense any any good sense in the context um, oh. uh, compare begal naufragare what is that um, like shipwrecked to be shipwrecked the wow. uh, the translation to mess me up is uh, owed to licht time oh, cool so I kind of let's run with that I kind of like that too. yeah that's nice. She messed me up again. <laughs> she shipwrecked me. <laughs> she shipwrecked me. She crashed me. <laughs> okay, Doc. Um, so we have that one out of the way. And then, yeah, that explains the Emoi. Um, me. Yeah. And then she made herself into a beautiful woman, like you said. Mm -hmm. What do we make out of that? Uh, before me, like in front of my face. Yes, yeah. I think. Is that a compound yeah. position? I think it is. I feel like we might have come across that before in this text. I think it's one of those those late Egyptian compound prepositions, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's not in the English list. Okay, I'll believe it. Um, we have six more minutes. Should we look at the heretic? Yeah. Let's really catch up. Sounds good. Um, we started from here, right? So. Uh, no, the first one in. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, what's going on here? Okay, so is that the horror then? Like the flashdown and the um, ligature looking thing underneath the flashdown? That, that's a cool way of writing that. Hmm. Huh. And totally different from the line above. Yeah. And the line above is... This is how you normally write it. I mean, that's that's standard. Yeah, that's really standard. Um, this here is, I have to say, weird. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh God, here you need. Uh, oh. I don't know what the code is. For uh, I don't know the code for words. That's nice on the other one that you can just type the. Um, oh, no worries. Um, G5. G5? Okay. G5. At least okay. for the Horace Bird. Oh, there. That's how it is. <laughs> Wow. Different different uh, text. Wow. Something from Turin. I don't think that's ours. So, what is huh. Is it like hand so writing something? Go again? I'm sorry. 
what is what is sorry for my bad German pronunciation. What is Schriftträger? Oh, Schriftträger. Schriftträger just means like what's the um, Schrift is writing and Träger is like literally bearer or carrier from Tragen. Oh, okay. So, like, so it just like means like um, attestation or or uh -huh. where you where you got that, and it just gives you the the text and which museum it's in. So yeah, cool. We seem to be all in the Egyptian Museum in Turin. And this one's from Cairo. This one's in Berlin somewhere. So you can look it up, assuming somebody lets you in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's maddening, right? Because often these things are somewhere in an archive and you can't just walk up to it and then take a look, even if you even if you hop on a plane. So right. I don't know how that works. The other day, the was it a shipwrecked sailor, I think? Um, Marshall Amos, who's now running that Middle Egyptian study group, right, in Discord, um, he was posting a photo of him basically next to the original manuscript. I'm thinking, like, oh, so. Wow. Not in the museum, but basically out on a table in front of him. And I was so envious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> this is nice. That is so cool. <clears throat> so apparently, this is a thing as an abbreviation for horrors. Okay. At least now, like 19th Dynasty. This is all normal, 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 normal. Um, Nef, I think I'm getting used to this now, but it's this really tiny N on top of a giant F. Ich, um, Erok, with a vertical K. He likes to do this. On, we just talked about. Yeah. When in Sutech, Her, Jed, Nef. This is Ta. That may be a bit confusing. It could look a little bit like a her, but it's ta uh, with a, yeah. a vertical yeah. T in there. Um, a rummage. Um, this one we know, I think. But now, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that is interesting. So we had discussed that like very early on when we had the first few sessions that you can have the man and then with the plural strokes underneath, or you could have the um, the book roll with the plural strokes underneath look like this, basically. And uh, yeah, yeah. Here you now have the woman with the plural strokes, and that looks just like the book roll with the plural strokes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So something to keep in mind if you ever see this one, it could also be this, and not necessarily the book roll. Um, Borne band. Um, this is interesting, huh? The way that that's yep. curving back. I e think. Yeah, E.T. Little R, smudge glue. Uh, you can see how very well how the T is done here. Eroi, uh -huh. um, An. We had that. Iris. Bagai. Just the G, and then the G is also ligatured over. Yeah, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, isn't it? Um, vertical plural strokes. Im. And what else? Yeah, the lunging legs. Uh, I'm going to just go with that now. Uh, <laughs> the lunging legs remind me of an Arabic letter at the end of Muhammad's name, if you ever go to any of the mosques or any of the famous kind of art, it reminds me of like that, or at least part of Muhammad's name. Anyway. Okay. Take that for your G with though. <laughs> what are you? So like the stylized roundels in the Hagia Sophia, um, uh, ah, okay, look very much like you know, some of that cool calligraphy. When it's just Mohammed in, oh. I'd have to show you. Uh, I'd have to show you a picture, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Oh. There you go. Like the end of whatever that last, I guess it would be a, I don't the remember D. my Arabic well enough, but the D, yeah. D, D. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, yeah, it looks a bit like it now that you say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think you can see somebody use a kalam. Um, kind of nice. Just I've tried that before. The thing about the kalam is it's angled. You can see that that oh. angle it doesn't work yeah. all that way for for um, for Egyptian characters. I guess if you were to cut it to make it flat, it would work pretty well. Um, oh. But you get that same kind of alternation between very thick and thin lines with the kalam. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's what made me think that essentially it's really just, it has to be a broad blade um, kind of pen. Okie doke. Guys, it's yeah, yeah, cool. Until, should we hold it here? We'll continue here next week? Sounds mm -hmm. good. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, everybody, as usual. Have a great Thank weekend. Thank you so much. Oh, very, very fun. Uh, Georg, Ooh, time a difference. Time difference. It'll all work out next week. Next week, we next change week. our Yeah, clock, I'm sorry. So. Yeah, I was like, ah, I was practicing. I was like, oh, you already started. And then you said, you know, it said like, so see you next week. And I just mentioned, oh, yeah, time difference. Oh, <laughs> all right, 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 right. Sorry. All right, so next time, Mustafa, you get the first one, and Georg, you get the second seven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.